What's up YouTube, today we'll be playing with RD704, a newly added gun in the Caliber 762. You can purchase it from Mechanic Level 3, and when I say this gun shreds, I meant it. I honestly think this is the strongest gun which has been added this patch so far. A quick reminder, if you've been enjoying my recent videos, pre-fire a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch where I stream daily. As you can see, the recoil of this gun is manageable even without having high recoil control skills. In my first raid, I decided to go to customs with one of my viewers who had a marked key. I had to place a beacon in there and this turned out to be a huge adventure. Task bullshit failed. I never knew the front of the armor moves. Look at this chat. Did you know that? I swear it wasn't like that before. Uh, Rishala? Yeah. Run, run, dude, you blocking. Can I kill Rishala? Yeah. yeah. I think only Rishala left. Yeah. He might be. Yeah, he's in here. Yeah, in here. Nice. He's got a pistol as well. Two. A key tool, nice. Yeah. After killing Rishala, getting his golden pistol and planting a beacon, I was extremely happy. What a coincidence. What are the chances that I'll be able to complete two quests in one raid? Especially since Rishala doesn't spawn every single raid. I think the boss spawn chance is like 10% or something. And even if he does spawn, he doesn't necessarily have a golden pistol. So, super lucky. Next raid, I decided to check out RD704 on Lighthouse and see how good of a sniping rifle it can be. So, how many meters is this chat? That's many, many meters. We killed him! Oh, that's that's like 250 or something. Let's let's do 200 chat. Yeah, it's like 250, yep. Quite unlikely, but still, still possible. I think our D704 does a pretty good job as a sniping rifle. The gun has pretty high ergo and the bullets are pretty good as well. Bullets have high enough damage to one tap rogues in the head and they fly pretty fast so they don't have a really huge uh, drop off at the distance. Hello bro, can you hear me? Yes! Did you just shoot me? No? Oh, that's not you. Yo, Bro, player, what's up? Can you hear me? Well, well, wait a second. I'm busy. Mr. Player, can you hear me? Player? Hello? Oh, come 
don't know about you, but my head eyes seem to suffer a lot recently. Bro, it's a joke. <laughs> Jesus, man. This guy was juiced. Not sure what he was up to, but I came to Shoreland to kill some scavs without night vision and do some quests. Even though later I realized that you have to take night vision off, you can't turn it off, it doesn't count, you have to take the helmet off and place it into your backpack in order for the kills to count. So yep, I kept killing scavs with my night vision on, well with my helmet on technically night vision off, and the kills did not count. I feel like I see night vision. Bro, this is a joke dude. Recently I've been getting killed by scavs with no footsteps, they just push and run into you without making a single sound. It's a bit annoying and I think it's a glitch. I've seen a couple of other people have the same issue too. This raid I was doing a quest called Bullshit where you need to place a couple of items in dorms and you can't kill any scavs during that quest. So a couple of my viewers volunteered to help me out and be my bodyguards. Can I go and call it? Yeah. Oh, here's red eye light, here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm holding him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bitch, come out. Hi. You dead? Yep. Nice. Next raid, I had to do some quests on woods, and I decided to take my best friend with me, the sniper RD704. <laughs> Hello? Oh, uh, come on, where's that drop? It's pretty far, I don't know if I can... This is like... On my way out, I decided to practice my aim on a couple of scavs. One on I quite like this one, not gonna lie. Next raid was something else. I decided it was the right time to show our bad boy reserve and kill some rats. Speak of the devil. Is this somebody else? That was somebody else indeed. Three fully geared guys which didn't want to push me so I decided to flank them. Bro, a bunch of AFK players. <sighs> I always got to start the fight by myself. It's not like I'm blaming them much for playing like this, it's just annoying when a 3 man is scared to push a solo player. And this is how it's done, boys. 
At the end of the day, I killed those 5 guys on reserve. It was a really fun fight overall, I do enjoy playing in D2 and fighting players. Also, I got quite lucky when my helmet tanked the headshot. And yeah, I got all the loots, looted a couple of filing cabinets, well not a couple of filing cabinets, I looted every single filing cabinet in D2, hoping to find a lab keycard, however I didn't manage to find one. And after that I extracted. You gotta die, you gotta die, Mr. Scaff. Oh. What a voice line. Oh, two for the price of one. I guess playing factory with Alton and the Meta RD704 on the fifth day of the wipe is not the fairest thing against the new players, is it? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.